capture the whole screen. Oh no, you're right. Alright. We are live. So we people here. Thanks, man. Appreciate it. See you at three? Yes. If you want to chat at me, be happy to talk with you guys a little bit. Currently in the finals of a league draft for Modern Horizons 3. Trying to play this uh, writhing chrysalis car that the internet's blowing up about. Seem like what we're doing is better than what they're doing. That car is on. Seated already. <laughs> right, the chrysalis might be too good. <laughs> this is the deck. I was fortunate enough to rare draft an Ugin's Labyrinth and a Grief. That's like 50 tickets or something crazy like that. And then we might just also be winning the draft, so getting the trifecta. If you're watching, chat with me a bit. It's more fun. I want to engage with people. It's lonely over here. And it's not as good as the last hand. It's still keepable. Oh, am I going to cast that? I already have four lands. Let's assume not. much of their deck at all last game. go to do random later with the rush. I don't want to accidentally discard my only colored source. Hopefully we get a forest soon. So I want to see what we need. Hello, Super Geffer. How you doing? will save us. Oh, I'm good too. Thanks for asking. Anything in particular you're looking forward to seeing today? Mess 
Messenger and Divisionary is a pretty sweet sequence in this limited format. It's funny logging on and seeing like, uh, let's see, Spike has 2,000 viewers, Gab has 436 viewers. Who makes it a hundred? New Mount's on with two thousand two hundred. Hooglin has two thousand. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Uh, well, it's part of uh, our new deal. So getting sponsored with Ultimate Guard came with uh, some uh, occasional streaming, which is fun. I kind of missed it. It's been a long time. Remember when I used to stream multiple times a week? All right, we did get the forest out of that draw, but it sucks. We lost the writhing chrysalis. I don't know if I'm even saying that correct. Probably not. Alright, so what can I do here? The steals, but there's no way to use this to sack whatever I steal, so that has to be a punishing play when they all drawsy. I could play this and get a land and ramp. That seems pretty good. Land destructing them seems not great. They already have a lot of mana. I don't know if they're splashing, so I should probably just ramp this turn so that I can start double spelling. <laughs> Thank you. I've had this uh, screen name probably since 2004, and uh, it wasn't my first screen name either, but uh, it was one of the funnier ones. I think back then I was still a little bit more of a young, tilted player who uh, didn't like getting mana uh, gypped. Where's this cave? I wonder what the reason to play that one is. <laughs> it looks like the is sweet and pods at least. I had a very little league practice, but the PT prep pods were sweet. Yeah, I would uh, rather play a pod too. Usually due to time constraints, I don't have that luxury, but that's what I plan on doing as soon as this one's over. All right, uh, I have a feeling I'm gonna be playing into a counter. I hope it's not the polarity thing. I think I'm gonna start with some smaller spells so that I don't just inadvertently walk into something I don't want to walk into. I should attack first. See if they want to make the Serum Visions for Void Pouncer trade. I would imagine they do. They're getting that two for one value. All right, let's start with the Hunger Tide Rises. Want to make it hard to counter it if it's Aether Revolt. Was it over under on someone coming in to complain about <laughs> Uh Pretty high. I played it on turn three in game one just now, and my opponent just conceded. <laughs> they didn't even want to play it up. So, yeah, pretty high. All right, we're going to bluff up the Galvanic Discharge with the one red left. <laughs> Kinky. No one at all. We should complain a lot. This 2 1 seems pretty good. What's the best thing I could steal? Not that. Well, I guess this wasn't too brutal. Obviously, not great, but have seen worse things. Maybe a little bit surprised they didn't wait another turn with the Hunger Tide Rises, but maybe they're afraid of me slamming some big old drawsies. Alright, I feel like I want to deal with their flyer now and start getting some pressure. the game just feels like an oxymoron to me now too. People talk about it all the time and I feel like they're dead serious, but like how on earth can you balance like a hundred thousand unique cards continually coming out with new things and somehow making them all balanced? It just feels not very plausible. Morale and the implicit maze. Card seems pretty good. Or 
unfortunately. We didn't care too much about that creature. All right, now they can't counter stuff. Let's see if we can, ooh. I just wanna play that one out, but I don't know. Do I race sack anything or just an Eldrazi? I should play the Ravager, because then I can sack the Chrysalis tokens. That seems like the play. Let's try to get some Annihilator going. I guess this is a free one damage. All right, 15 viewers, we're getting there. Probably like half teammates. <laughs> Weird token. Seems pretty good. Probably end up using my fanged flames on it. Oh, well, thank you. Love spreading the word. This wastegate battle mage is way better uh, in game two than it was in game one. Played it as a grizzly bear before conceding to my turn three chrysalis last game. Still nothing overly scary on their side. Do I want to just go search up a dryad instead of having these two one ones? I mean, that seems like a fine exchange. Two one ones don't seem very good here. Ooh, is it better to pull it out of the deck or the grave? I haven't even considered that. Probably the deck, because I don't want to draw the other copy. Is Void Pouncer when it comes in, I pay the kicker? No, it's a true kicker. All right, let's search the library. You guys can take a look at the deck real quick if you want, if you didn't see it in the pre-game actions. But yeah, I think it's just easily dry out here. All right, so we have seven potential mana. If they're playing Revolt, they're not really playing an energy theme, so if they're playing Revolt, it's kind of naked. Maybe I don't play around it anymore. I'm pretty sure I can survive another turn and still get this spell of weird off the table. Like, I don't think it's gonna be greater than a four. So I think I just wanna be playing Ravager again. I don't think there's a reason. Well, I do have landfall triggers. I have a couple landfall creatures. So let's hold the land, even though it'll net them an extra energy if they uh, have the mana leak here. Mana leak. All right, resolved. Let's see where we go from here. <coughs> yeah, because holding it still gives me the option of playing Chrysalis into uh, Captor and sacking one of the tokens if I want to, because I have Dryad for mana seven. This is mana eight. Uh-oh, if that creature's being tapped, something huge is coming. Hopefully it's something I can capture. Mm, not so much. Do you want to come up with some kind of draft strategy where you play capture and the merge? It's like sacking their stuff's a lot of fun. Uh, do you want to just trade off this with the Gorger? It says flying anyway. It's not like I'm doing anything else with it. Yeah, that seems fine. Let's do that. Work from home benefits. Heck yeah. All right. Here we go. There's my landfall card. So I can play the color and flames. Is there anything I want to flames? Like just play with two two. That seems mediocre. Let's see if there's a better play I should be making. If I play the Chrysalis, then I'm not removing the element of surprise on the Ravager. It doesn't stop the 5-5, five five, but color does. Alright, let's just play the color and then sack the landscape so we have multiple landfall triggers. That seems like the right play. Hey, yellow hat. Thanks for raiding, man. This feels like old times. I'm automatically transported to like three years ago being raided by the, the hat. Gab, you're the man. Uh, yeah, let's put that in the graveyard. 
before they get a chance to get tricky on us. So let's grab our only swamp and get another trigger. That's interesting. So it doesn't kill anything relevant, but another graveyard effect. So I should probably just bin that. I suppose I could have used double removal spell on the 5-5, five five, but all these creatures have reach now, so like, what's the point in that anyway? Hey, Geb. Good to see you, man. Well, I guess not literally see, but you know what I mean. Although I'll see you in a week. Amsterdam. How many people on the chat are going to Amsterdam? That's going to be fun. I have never been, and I'm looking forward to Wow, Layla. That's awesome. It's one of my favorite cards to draft in cube. Uh-oh. Alright, so Meddler's going to keep that tapped. Why are they making this attack, attacking with everything? They just have lethal with like a plus three, plus two, or something like that. Uh, I can rule a spell the Layla anyway. That's going to tap down something. But then this creature, I have a good, I have a good response. I think I'm going to try to preserve my life total and just go one for one here. Not super happy about it, but I, I think that's probably going to give me my best chance. Yeah, the PT is going to be sick. Have you scouted any like cool restaurants or anything sick yet? Definitely want to find the good eats too. For those that don't know me very well, I am a huge um, Korean barbecue aficionado. So if there's any Korean barbecue we have, I am all about that. All right, let's start with this. In case they actually have the mana leak, we can play around it this time. Uh oh, what's this? Oh no, that was really good. I've never actually seen that card uh, function. That's pretty interesting. We're not dead because this card is bananas. And I can actually use the Wither and Bloom as well. These spawns are going to be chump blocking, so I'm just going to make the Chrysalis huge so that I can really detract from them having profitable attacks. Because you can see something to respond with. Huge Korean barbecue fan. I mean, that works. People will, will they'll know who you're talking about. <laughs> yeah, random, they discarded the Hope Under. That's good for me, I think. That card's a kind of sweet design. Alright, nothing too broken. Uh, the Wave Bouncer's pretty broken, but it uh, doesn't do the trick here yet. Alright, so the creature I most want to kill is probably Layla, and I feel like I can't really take any damage or I'm done for. If they have the trample thing, I'm just toast anyway. 